I learned affirmations and I learned the probable cause of those emotions tied to those diagnoses, hmm. right? So then flipping it to the other side of it, I also realized as a child, whenever I ate cereal with homogenized milk, I was cramping, like hunched over, bloated. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is going on? Meat made me sluggish, tired, go to sleep. So these are all the things that I was paying attention to from adolescent all the way up. And then I would always have mucus. Like mm -hmm. if you guys ever heard, uh -huh, like people uh -huh. that snort. That was me all the time. And my mom and them, was, oh, you're uncouth. You're uncouth. I'm uncouth, but what I'm, but we didn't know then, but the food mm -hmm. was, wasn't was settling and absorbing properly. And I wasn't moving the emotions out. I was restricting them. I was holding everything in because as the youngest child, I was told, be quiet. You don't know nothing. Like these are the things that I'm told when I'm trying to have a voice. So as much as I got to be quiet and being told I don't know nothing, I'm holding it in and there's no area for me to release it, which created gut health issues and imbalances and, 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 and just um, unsettled mm. nervous energy in my body. 